Please stand for the pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Please take a moment of silence to reflect kind of upon your day ahead. Good, wonderful Wednesday morning, Margaret Mead students and staff. I'm Avila. And I'm Yashas. And we're here today with today's headline news. Today is March 13th, and today is National Open and Umbrella Indoors Day, National K-9 Veteran Day, National Jewel Day, National No Smoking Day, National No Samaritan Day, and Barbie may have her day, but today is Ken Day. Today we continue our celebration of kindness, and one way you can show kindness today is by smiling at someone new in the hallway. Sometimes a big smile goes a long way. You have worked extremely hard this school year. We are excited to end the school year stronger. Remember, our, the Our March to Mead Made program kicked off on February 29th and will return until the end of the, run until the end of the school year. Your advocacy teacher will be in communication with you about your important progress next week during advocacy. In addition, if you are not on track to make our school wide go, then your advocacy teacher will be reaching out to your family to let them know so they can reinforce the importance of ending the school year Mead Made. The goal of the March to Mead Made program is to help all of you to end the school year Mead Made so that you can be eligible to participate in the following year end events. Friday, May 17th, 8th grade dance. Thursday, May 23rd, 8th grade field trip. Thursday, May 30th, 7th and 8th grade field day. Sunday, June 2nd, 8th grade graduation ceremony. Students who will be awarded points for weekly on a week Wednesdays during advocacy, your advocacy teacher will share your total points with you and how many points you that you will need to participate in the end of the of the year school events. Students will be required to get at least 80% of possible points to be eligible for the end of the year privileges. The points will be awarded in the three areas. Area. Every week, students will be awarded points in respect receiving one or less minor referrals in a week, receiving zero major referrals in one week. Every week, st students will be awarded points in responsibility, having four or less tardies in a class, four or less tardies to class in a week. Every week, students will be rewarded points in resilience, not being required to participate in classwork support program for significant missing assignments during the week. We can do this most things. Let's end the year strong. Now stay tuned for a message about our current fundraiser video. Hey, science and STEM seekers. This is Mr. Pfeiffer here. And I'm one of the sponsors for our community service club known as Service Club. We are going to be doing a Penny Wars charity drive coming up soon. And we want to invite all of you to help us participate in it. So, are you interested in pieing a teacher in the face? Are you interested in meeting up close and in person cute little cuddly creatures like this little owl? If so, you have the opportunity to make a difference and have a little fun along the way. Um, how you enter our pie in the teacher phase contest and our bird raffle contest, you ask? Well, it's not too hard to do. You ultimately are going to do the following steps in the cafeteria in the next coming days. Bring in money, coins, cash are all accepted. Put them in the container that is in the cafeteria. There will be a seventh grade and an eighth grade container. Very important you pick the right container. Number three. You will then get a raffle ticket immediately, put your name on it, and return that into another container near the money collection. And then finally, wait to see if you get selected. The winning grade level, whoever earns the most money, seventh or eighth grade, will enter a raffle to pie a teacher in the face in one of our next coming uh, assemblies, coming up here before spring break. And then in April, we will have a live bird show for those invited through the raffle to attend, where our Wings and Talents Foundation will come and talk to you all about these majestic birds. So one thing you might be asking yourself is where does all this money go? Well, the Wings and Talons Foundation is dedicated to basically rescuing any type of raptorial bird of prey, eagles, hawks, owls, and 
rehabilitating them when they're injured in the wild, and then releasing them when possible back into the wild. This foundation also educates the public about why these birds are so important to nature and in our own ecosystem as an apex predator. Help us today by competing as a 7th and 8th grade and donating to Wings and Tails to learn more about these majestic birds and help them be restored in our own community here in Schaumburg and Elk Grove. Good luck to our mathletes who will be participating in the District 54 math competition tonight. Two teams will represent Mead. The Pythons include Chase R. Benson, Benson Law M. Vaya S. Otto H. and Kalik V. And the three math musicians, Brady S. Lakashimi and and Manis V S. It is time to vote for our Happiness March Madness Round Five. What were your favorite happiness celebration? Through the link emailed to you. The bracket in the front hallway <laughs> will show the winner for each round. Modern nature has called it soccer. Intramurals will be not meeting tomorrow due to the forecast rain throughout the day. Plan on meeting again next, next Thursday. Now let's shoot it over to Arij in the sports corner. Hey, it's Arij here with today's sports report. Connor Bedard had a goal and four assists to set his single game high in points as the Chicago Blackhawks beat the Anaheim Ducks 7-2 last night. Your Chicago Bears picked up two more players yesterday as they signed tight end Gerard Everett and safety Jonathan Owens, both to two-year deals. Tune in tonight to see your Chicago Bulls take on the Indiana Pacers on the road. Hey, Leaf, what's the weather going to be like today? Elif here with today's weather forecast. Overall, it will be pretty cloudy today. There is a slight chance for a stray shower in the area, but the likelihood of rain increases for tomorrow. It will, it will still be pretty warm with highs in the mid-60s. Mid now let's hand it back to Wyla and Yasha at the news desk. Uh, today's birthday shout outs go to Giovanni L and our very own Miss Bar Bobrin. Happy birthday! That's all we've got for you today. Please remember to be respectful, responsible, and safe. Make it a great day, Mustangs! <laughs>